This is Alex and Alexi. This is the longest you've ever stood up. <laughs> A new baby is wreaking havoc on their work schedule. This is getting ridiculous, and we're not sleeping very much. And their house isn't helping the situation. We hate that we have one living space, and it's starting to have its effect on us. They're forced to tiptoe on the floors. Taking showers is a risk. It's so, so loud. I can't even use my own bathroom in the morning. And the kitchen has become a change room. It's becoming impossible. So here's what we're going to do. Since Alex and Alexi can't make their house bigger, we're going to make their house better. Now that we've seen your house, we'll go and come up with two design plans. Our designs are definitely going to change your quality of life. What they're going to do as well is increase your property value. And the homeowner chooses which plan we go with. I can't wait to see it. I'm just really anxious. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm Rob. And I'm Mia. Building bigger isn't always an option. So we're going to come up with two different plans to help build it better. You choose. And no matter whose plan you pick, we guarantee the value of your property will rise. Because we find spaces in impossible places. So we're going to see Alex and Alexi. They're a really nice couple. They got a young baby, she's 10 months old. We moved in about four years ago. The house was perfect for the two of us. Now that we have one little baby, the walls have started to feel a lot, a lot tighter on us. We live in a small semi-detached house, which is old, and the floors are very, very loud. I'm waking up Alexi, I'm waking up the baby. <laughs> we're not sleeping very much, all of us. Uh, and it's, it's creating some challenges for us. It sounds like they actually have space. Something's wrong there. They are not using that space properly or it's just not set up right. This is it, eh? This is cute. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey, hey, come, on come, on in. In. come on in. Why don't you show us around? Sure. This is it. This is the grand this... tour. When I walked into Alex and Alexi's house, I could see there was a lot going on. We hate the fact that we have one living space that's really our everything space. It's where we play with our baby, it's where we watch TV, it's where we eat. It's a little cramped and it's starting to have its effect on us. Floors are creaking, we're waking up These the baby. These floors are loud, eh? It is a little problem. We try to tiptoe around all the noisy spots yeah, so yeah, that yeah. we don't wake her up. I can't imagine having to live my life tiptoeing around my own house. And he works crazy hours. He works shift work, so sometimes he's working all night or he's working oh. super early in the morning. I come home at 6 in the morning and I'm absolutely just, exhausted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, Alexi and the baby are just getting up. They're starting their day. He could be trying to sleep upstairs while I'm trying to keep the baby quiet yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. right here. And you hear the toys banging and I can't sleep. I work long hours too. I can't imagine what this guy's going through not sleeping. So this is it. This is dining room, kitchen. This is also what I consider my changing room. He is up getting dressed at, what, 4.30 in the morning most of the time. He can't get dressed upstairs. That obviously would wake me up. Yeah. Um, and the baby, which yeah. nobody wants that. It's the quietest place, right? You can't change in the kitchen. This is the bathroom. Right. Come on in if you can fit. Wow. I'm just going to kick the, the, the baby tub out of the way. Yeah. There's barely room for you and the baby. Living with this one bathroom is is my least favorite part of this house. I and I can't it. even use my own bathroom in the morning to get ready. Because? Because the bedroom where Alexi's sleeping. Oh, it's right behind this wall? Right here. Yeah, right. your head. So this is on the exact side. Oh, I get it. It can't be that okay. noisy. Hold on. Okay. Mia, lie in the bed, Mia. <laughs> okay, do you hear this? I'm sleeping. <laughs> it's that loud? Wow. My mind was blown. It's so loud. You guys must feel like zombies every day. Yeah, we're pretty tired yeah. all the time. Come on down, guys. Just uh, watch your head here if you don't mind. Careful, Rob. Don't fall down the stairs, Rob. Sorry, I'll have to. Well, this is ridiculous, guys. As you can see, it's a giant, empty, unfinished yeah, but it's space awesome. that we, we can't use right now. You know, These stairs are just propped it. up. Yeah, yes. Thanks for telling us that. Well, we figured if we told you, you might not come. And I'm like, yeah, it's terrible though. That's a huge chunk of real estate right in the middle. You got pipes hanging down. It's a good raw space, but there's flaws with this. There's some serious work that's got to go on down here already. So your house is worth $350,000. Our designs are definitely going to change your quality of life. What they're going to do as well is increase your property value. So the big deals are, we need to give you a full-size second bathroom, an area for Alex to get dressed, a soundproof bedroom, and a functional rec space for the family. 
Flaws aside, I am positive I can make that basement work. We're gonna take a bit of time, come up with two design plans, and okay. meet with you guys in a couple days, and you guys can make a decision. Just remember, I, I can't get dressed in the kitchen anymore. I think I'm leaning towards the second floor. I feel like I see a lot of potential in there to help them. We listened to everything. We heard all your issues that were going on when we met the first time. Basically, you're not sleeping because the floors are too loud and there's no space for you to get ready for work. Me and I have done up a great design. They both deal with your situation, but I'll let Mia go first. Yeah, so for my plan, um, we're going up to the second floor. I'm going to reconfigure the floor so the master bedroom and the baby's room are on opposite ends. I'll create a soundproof master ensuite and a dressing room so you'll have a place to shower and get ready without disrupting Alexi or the baby. This now allows you to have two bathrooms, one for the baby and one for yourself, so no more tripping over baby tubs. This plan will also include soundproofing the entire second floor, which solves your creaky floor problem. The huge selling feature for you guys is really giving you an extra dressing room and you get a master ensuite bathroom and everything is soundproof, so you'll get more sleep. The downside is I can't give you a family room. The cost of my plan would be about $50,000, but on the upside, it would increase the value of your home by $60,000. Okay. Okay. Having a soundproofed bedroom and bathroom upstairs is such a big deal to us. But Mia's is a lot of money. So, for less money, <laughs> I can take you down to the basement. With a blank canvas, I'll start by replacing and relocating the hot water heater and furnace to a mechanical room in the corner. This gives me the space to create another family area so Alexi and the baby can play without worrying if they'll wake you up. I'll give you a full-size bathroom so you can shower and change. Plus, this plan gives you tons of storage. It'll help you declutter upstairs. Taking you down to the basement gets you off this floor. Everything's down here, a communal area for you to keep together. Another bathroom down there with a cupboard beside it so that you can just literally come downstairs, get ready, shower, change, and get out the door without annoying anybody. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to give you a soundproof bedroom. Having a whole new space in the basement is, it's almost life-changing for How us. How awesome would that be? All in all, it's gonna cost about $35,000 to do this. On the bright side, this will increase the value of your home by $50,000. They both think? seem great. I think we just have a lot to talk about. I think Alex and Alexi really loved both of our plans. Yeah, I think that went well. Mia's. I, I love the separate dressing room. I think they're going to go towards the basement. No, but come on. Rob's might be better only because it's using space that hasn't been touched yet. I don't, I don't know. Here's the deal for you. If Alex and Alexi choose my design, you're washing my dog. And that's a dirty dog. And if by some remote possibility that you choose your design, I'll wash your little white fluff ball of a dog. You know what? Fair deal because Bogey's pretty dirty all the time. Ross speaking. Hey Rob, it's Alexi. Hey Alexi, how are you? I just wanted to let you know that Alex and I have come to a design decision. And which one did you go with? Uh -huh. 